Hey guys, this is Steve. A lot of cool stuff happening on CNET's Crave Vlog this week. I'm feeling good. I'm pumped. I got my hair did. This is Crave. <laughs> In news that's close to my heart, Cornell University's personal robotics lab has taught a PR2 robot to figure out where and when to pour beer and to perform other actions that require anticipation. The PR2 robot uses a Kinect 3D camera and a database of 3D videos as a reference for determining what might happen in the future. By analyzing objects in the scene, the robot is able to choose the most likely next step for activities like eating, drinking, cleaning, and putting things away. In this example, the robot observes a man standing by the fridge holding a pot. The robot analyzes the situation and using an algorithm he knows to assist the man by opening the fridge for him. In another example, the robot sees a man sitting at the table with an empty cup. Without the anticipatory algorithm running, the robot quickly pours the beer onto the table, unable to anticipate the man's movements. But once the algorithm has been activated, the robot can now determine where the cup might be when the beer is poured and not a drop is spilled. The Emo Pulse Smile Smartphone Bracelet Slash Watch is an Indiegogo project loaded with tons of features. The Smile runs on a Linux operating system and will be able to learn the types of movies you like, it will monitor your sleep, and it has a Siri-like personal assistant built in. Other features include speech recognition, desktop quality gaming, and emotional sensors that pick up on your moods. The smartphone watch currently has a price tag of $380 for the 128GB model and can be tethered to your existing smartphone if you prefer to use it like that. The Indiegogo campaign goal is trying to raise $300,000 to get the Emo Pulse into production. B -b B is both a remote controlled car and a quadcopter. The Kickstarter project was invented by UK computational engineering PhD student Wytold Milnicek. B drives on four wheels which also house and protect quadcopter blades making the vehicle able to launch vertically into the air. The toy quadcopter is equipped with an onboard HD camera shooting at 1280 by 720p video resolution and has a polycarbonate body, a material used in protective goggles and riot shields. B costs between $500 and $600 and Whitehold envisions a future where B might someday carry people. And in some quick news hits, the revamped Arrested Development on Netflix is a hit! For pirates that is. Torrent Freak reported this week that the show has been illegally downloaded over 175,000 times in the first few days of its release. Quick pro tip, you can get a one month free trial from Netflix and watch them all for free once the season is over, just saying. Russian scientists uncovered a well-preserved woolly mammoth who was frozen under solid ice for millions of years. They were able to easily extract blood and tissue samples from the mammoth. The scientists have partnered with controversial South Korean cloning scientist Hwang Woo Suk who was found to have faked data involving a procedure to clone human embryonic stem cells. The goal is to clone the woolly mammoth Jurassic Park style. And finally, now glass holes have porn apps. Android adult app store McCandy told ZDNet that porn is coming to Google Glass. Why not? Porn is everywhere else, it was just a matter of time. The porn site plans on producing content not just for glass, but by using Google Glass. So one can only imagine the POV hands-free content in HD. Hey guys, thanks for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. And here's what we're giving away this week in the Crave giveaway. We're giving away the rugged Incipio Atlas case for the iPhone 5. It's a waterproof case equipped for outdoor adventures. Go to the blog and enter to win.
accomplish wonders.